All right, guys, lesson three, we're going to be talking about temperature calculations. So this means we're going to be understanding what is Celsius, what is Kelvin, and we'll be going over the basic formula of how to determine both of these. Temperature is the measure of the average kinetic energy or energy that's in motion or thermal energy of the particles in a substance. Temperature does not depend on the size or the type of object. An increase or decrease in temperature will either speed up or slow down the motion of a molecule. So they are directly related. The faster you go, the hotter you are, and the slower you are, the colder it is. So some must-know temperature facts. We don't use Fahrenheit at all. If you ever write down anything with a capital F as a temperature reading, it is wrong. Celsius. This is what we're going to be using all the time for lab, okay? And some must, 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 must know facts. Zero degrees Celsius, water freezes. Hundred degrees Celsius, water boils. Very easy to remember. And also, negative 273 degrees Celsius, this is the temperature at which all matter stops moving. You'll also notice there's a degree symbol in front of the C. Uh, that's because you always refer to it as degrees Celsius. Now when we go to Kelvin, Kelvin scale doesn't use the degree. It doesn't matter. I don't know if we say that. Oh, um, okay. I just, it's degrees Kelvin. No, it doesn't, you don't call it degree Kelvin. Okay, I'll just never yeah. talk okay. about it again. We won't, we won't mention it. I'll never talk about it again. Got it. <laughs> Sorry. Goodbye. The Kelvin scale, which is going to be used in our gas laws formula, which is going to happen later on in the year, um, you'll notice they're going to be bigger numbers than the Celsius scale. Kelvin's dominantly used for gas, uh, anything in outer space or star sun temperatures. So at 273 degrees Kelvin, water freezes. 373 degrees Kelvin, water boils. And at zero degrees Kelvin, the lowest of the Kelvin scale, all matter stops. You'll also notice the Celsius and Kelvin scale are kind of similar. What the water freezing and boiling is a hundred degrees difference in both of these scales. And finally, absolute zero. Absolute zero is zero degrees Kelvin or negative 273 degrees Celsius, which means that the temperature at which the fundamental particles of nature have a minimal or no vibrational motion. Everything stops moving. So on table T, the very last formula you will see is the temperature conversion, which is Kelvin is equal to degrees Celsius plus 273. Determine the temperature in Kelvin if a laser detects a temperature reading of negative 127 degrees Celsius. So we plug in our quantitative value of negative 127 degrees Celsius and we just add 273. So you get 146 Kelvin. Determine the temperature in Celsius if a satellite probe detects a temperature reading of 523 Kelvin. What phase of matter would water be in? Um, so you, again, plug in the quantitative value of 523, subtract 273 this time, and we get 250 degrees Celsius. Now this is definitely in the gas phase because 100 degrees Celsius, water will boil and become a gas. 